Hello, everybody! This is OBA2 coming at you with my final review for the final episode, episode 12, of The World is Still Beautiful. Now, I don't have as much to say in this episode, in this review, because not as much happened. It was just tying up a couple, few loose ends um, from the last episode, last little saga in the rain, Principality of Rain. Um, just a couple things happening back in the Sun Kingdom after they get back. So there wasn't as much to talk about this one, so this might be a shorter review than the rest. Sorry, people, it probably will be short. So let's get into this. Now, the things that ha is this episode ends up where Leve, uh, Nikkei is about to return with Leve to the um, Sun Kingdom. And the, everyone's fine, everyone's good. The last thing she needs to tie up with is settling things with her grandmother, Babasama. Because... She has not seen her grandmother since the end of the, of the tribulations between uh, the fact that she's going to be leaving the country, that she's not going to be there anymore, and the fact that her grandmother has kind of shut herself in, and she wants to sh uh, basically fix any loose ends, tie anything up, because she doesn't know if she'll ever be back again, or when she'll be back, if at, if at all, for the Principality of Rain to deal with anything anymore. So she doesn't really know if anything's going to happen or will she do anything. So she just wants to tie things up with her grandma and fix them up. And she does this. She says, tells her how much she feels for Leve, the fact that you've taught me so much. You've made me who I am, but I need to leave now and I need to go. And she doesn't get a response from her grandmother right away. So on the way back, her grandmother sings a special rain-calling song. Uh, ancient song that's saved only for when people are leaving the kingdom. Probably forever. So she sings this beautiful song in an ancient language as she's sending Nike and Nive off. And Nike's like, please don't, I want to hear your song more. Please don't make the winds blow because that's going to make me go away faster. I just want to hear your song more. But she makes the wind blow anyway and she leaves faster. And then we have a segment in the anime. It's just has an extended version of the um, opening credits with scenes from when Nikkei and Levis get back to the Sun Kingdom. And I saw some funny things there. There was like, looks like a, a museum of Nikkei's old stuff when she came to the kingdom. Um, a, uh, you know, all sorts of stuff going on. Um, dolls that look like Nikkei being sold in stores. Fun little things, and she's like, She's dumbfounded. She has a dumbfounded look on her face every single time she sees this stuff. And she's like, really? You're selling dolls to look like me. Really? You made a museum out of my, for, of me. Really? Um, as, um, we have this video, visual, and it looks like everybody in the, in the castle since Levis and Nikkei have been gone have been in getting busy. They've been hooking up. They've been, even the old men from the council have women sitting on their laps, kissing their face. Uh, uh, Bard, Bard went the most. He's got the most stuff going on. But it seems everybody has been hooking up. And they kind of rush. And when they find out the king's coming back, they rush and hide everything. And then since, it turns out since they've been gone so long... Levis has a ton of work to do. So we have possibly a week or more goes by where Nikkei just does not see him. And the more she does not see him, the more she misses him. And she's like, yeah, I guess this is the price we pay for spending such a long time together away from the kingdom. I get it. But she's missing him. And the very last bit of the episode was just about her missing him. The fact... um that they meet up in the back of the castle afterwards, the fact that she sings a song for Rain, just the fact that she misses him, and the fact that they're reassuring how they feel about each other, how much they love each other, and how that each other, to each other, they're the most important person in the world to each other. And basically, that's the episode. 
So, again, there wasn't as much going on because it was just tying up a couple of things, confirming how they feel, uh, leaving the Rain Kingdom. That's all the episode was, tying up, but it was a good series nonetheless. I loved this series. I am praying that this series will get picked up by a dubbing company, or at least put out on hard copy in America. I love this series that much. It was awesome. It ruled. It was a great romance series, but it wasn't too mushy. It was really, really good. Thus, this is the old boy 82 saying, if you like this video, please click like. If you want to see more, please subscribe. This is the old boy 82 saying, oh!